On July 31st, ONTV purchased equipment that provides a new service to the community. Thanks to a grant from the county, ONTV installed a closed captioning system from ENCO, a Michigan-based company. This particular unit is the same quality as those used by other high-end TV stations. I talked to Executive Director Ian Locke to learn more about what this means, not only for the station, but for the community. We're very excited to announce that um, we received a grant from Oakland County through the CARES Act. Uh, that came about uh, just under a year ago. It was last fall, and it was for about $40,000. I shouldn't say about $40,000. It was $40,000, and uh, it was to help you know, during the pandemic and help cover costs and a variety of other things. And we're trying to think of, you know, what could we do with this money to really impact the community, right? So uh, we've been looking at closed captioning systems for our channels for a number of years, and the cost was just so astronomical that we just couldn't entertain it. We knew that the FCC eventually will be mandating that stations like ours, even though we're small, would have to have closed captioning services on our broadcast. So uh, when it came up to it, we saw some pricing. It came down considerably. And so with the grant, uh, it, it fell into our budget and we were able to purchase our closed captioning system. It was a grant that was um, given through Oakland County and it was for nonprofit organizations. And they notified um, the elected officials which, you know, I'm the treasurer for Orion Township, so I was notified via email, and I started reading through the grant, and I realized that On TV was a perfect candidate for this grant, along with some of the other nonprofits in Orion Township. So that's what made me reach out to Ian about it. It was a last-second call from uh, Donnie Steele, our township treasurer. She called on a Friday at about... I don't know, 4.35, and we closed down about 5 p.m. on Fridays, and I was wrapping up my day, and the phone rang, and Donnie goes, hey, guess what? There's a grant through Oakland County. The deadline's coming up pretty soon. Uh, I sent you all the information. Why don't you take a look at it? And I said, okay, great, and I just opened the link, and I realized the due time for getting all of our uh, materials in to apply for this grant was literally 45 minutes away. So uh, it came in at the right time. I happened to be in my office and received the phone call and the email and it took about 30 minutes for me to apply and submit it off to the county. So it was it, it was down to the wire uh, but uh, her Tommy couldn't have been uh, more perfect. Made entirely of AI and 98% accurate, the closed captioning system began its test run the week of July 26. Locke hopes it will be fully functioning and available for the public to use by the middle of August. Due to the pandemic and we're watching more virtual meetings and more things online and you know, trying to get more people involved in uh, being able to um, access the meetings and the information as they're happening live. So uh, a lot of this had to do with trying to make these meetings, get these, uh, the township, school board, and village meetings all up to ADA compliance. Captioning for the community is excellent for people that have hearing disabilities. Um, and I actually know of a couple people in the township that do have hearing disabilities. And for people that um, cannot hear at all or have uh, D diminished hearing that it's great for them and especially for like you know when we do our public uh, broadcasting of our local meetings um, a lot of times you don't hear what people say because it's muffled or you don't understand them and to be able to read it at the bottom of the screen really helps with our minutes and especially for the posterity of what is being said and voted on I think it's a great tool. What you'll see is uh, when you turn on a government meeting or programming on ONTV, just like any other show at home, you can turn on your closed captioning on your television and captions will appear. Uh, we, the, the really cool thing about this uh, product is that our captioning will also work online. So if you watch our meetings and programming uh, on a live stream uh, on our webpage at orientontv.org, the captions will also be embedded there when it's a live uh, meeting or event. Okay, uh, and the other the cool screen. thing is that we can yeah, actually announcer. do captioning uh, after the fact. So let's say we have a football game in the field, we record, we can bring it back, and we can actually caption the Dragon football game and post it on our video on demand service, and it will have captions as well. 
I can't thank Donnie Steele enough. Um, we've worked together for a number of years since she's been on the board and now treasurer of the township. And she was on the, uh, our cable commission, the Orient Cable Commission here. So we worked together for a number of years and have a great, ONTV has a great relationship with the township and uh, other uh, government ent entities here in Lake Orion. And that just shows the relationship, how, how good it is that she immediately thought of us and said, hey, here's a grant, you guys could take advantage of it. And she was right. ONTV is covering 100% of the expenses for this service. Yeah. If you're interested in learning how the process works or want to report an issue, please contact us at 248 393 1060. From the Orient Center for ONTV News, I'm Amanda Porter.